How high are ferritin levels in cancer? If you're curious about the connection between ferritin levels and cancer, you're about to uncover some important insights. Let's break it down step by step. Ferritin is a protein that stores iron in the body, and it plays a significant role in various cellular processes. When it comes to cancer, the levels of ferritin can be quite different from those in healthy individuals. Research has shown that individuals with elevated ferritin levels are twice as likely to be diagnosed with cancer compared to those with normal ferritin levels. For example, a study involving over a million individuals found that high ferritin levels, specifically those exceeding three times the upper limit of the normal range, were associated with a higher risk of developing certain types of cancer. In particular, the risk was significantly higher for hematologic malignancies, pancreatic cancer, hepatobiliary cancers, and gastrointestinal malignancies other than colorectal cancer. For instance, the risk of hematologic malignancies was 5.4 times higher, and for pancreatic cancer, it was 2.7 times higher. Ferritin levels are often detected at higher levels in the sera of many cancer patients, and these higher levels correlate with more aggressive disease and poor clinical outcomes. In cancer cells, ferritin is a storage protein. It also plays roles in proliferation, angiogenesis, and immunosuppression. Cancer cells and even cancer-associated fibroblasts use iron to fuel their growth and survival. For example, in prostate cancer, a subset of iron-rich cancer-associated fibroblasts, known as ferrocafs, accumulate iron and use it to reprogram gene expression, which helps in suppressing the immune response against the tumor. In some cancers, like ovarian cancer, treating mouse models with an iron chelator called deferoprone reduced tumor growth and improved survival rates. This suggests that maintaining healthy iron levels could be crucial in managing cancer. Ferritin also has a role in protecting cells from iron-induced damage, but in cancer cells, it can contribute to tumor progression. For instance, in pancreatic cancer, the process of autophagy, where cells degrade and recycle their components, involves a protein called NCOA4 that binds to ferritin and releases free iron, which can fuel tumor growth. In summary, High ferritin levels are often associated with a higher risk of cancer, particularly certain aggressive types. Understanding how ferritin and iron levels impact cancer cells is crucial for developing new therapeutic strategies to combat cancer.